Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sto here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a short tutorial on how I got this final image from the before, which looks a little bit like that. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to reset everything and just work you through what I normally do and how I actually got to the final image here. So first off, I look at the image and I think, okay, it looks a little bit underexposed. And you know how I can tell it's a little bit underexposed? By the face. So you can see it's a little bit darker than what I want it to be. And also the histogram gives a little bit of an indication that it's a little bit underexposed as you've got a lot of information on the left-hand side rather than the middle and right-hand side. So first of all, I'm just going to move the exposure up a little bit. I think by it about plus one stop is looking nice if you go in a little bit higher uh, closer up you can see the face is nicely lit now so that's good secondly what I like to do is look at the temperature so at the moment it's at 5250 and normally with a lot of my images I like to brighten it up just to give a bit of a sunny look to the image and give it a bit more warmth so I'm just gonna raise it up a bit until what I feel looks natural so I think around about 6150 is good. So as you can see, it's now warmed up a little bit, so it looks quite nice. So now I like to work my way a little bit down. I look at the highlights. So I can see the highlights. I mean, everything looks really nice in terms of the lighting on the actual image. But what I really want to do is move my stuff about and see what looks best for the actual white cloudy smoke in the background. So what I did for this shoot, I did a little bit of a background. Me and Asena went over to a wooded area and I just popped off a smoke grenade behind her. That's why you've got this white polar effect in the background and it's really well suited to what she's wearing as well because it makes it feel wintry. So for anyway, highlights, I'm just gonna bring them down just a tad, probably about minus 10. I'm gonna bring the whites up. So the whites are what I wanna focus on because I want to make it feel really white. So if we lower the whites, you can see it just like removes the whiteness from the smoke. So I wanna pop that up a little bit and I'm just gonna go not very high, about, let's just see. So I feel like, you know, plus, plus 70 is just like overdoing it. Can you see, cause it actually overexposes her face as well. So I'm just gonna bring it down a bit. I'm gonna go to about, about 64, I think that looks quite nice because, you know, it really brings your attention to the center, all that white stuff. So, anyway, let's go down a bit. I never really play about with the clarity or the vibrance of the saturation because it just it just doesn't feel natural. Like, if I bring the vibrance up, nah, I don't like it. I really don't like it. I feel like just by playing about with the temperature and warming up the image a bit, it just brings enough color to the image anyway. So, in terms of the tone curve, I like to bring my blacks up a little bit. Uh, sorry, I like to bring my darks up a bit just to make the black tones like more matted. So if you can see here, if we play about, bring the bring that up a bit. Bring it down a bit. And also be very conscious cautious of the face because you don't want to be playing around with the tones and it like gets rid of detail in the face. You want to be maintaining that as much as possible. So I think that looks nice there. Bring the blacks down a little bit more. And yeah, I think that looks a lot nicer than what it was before. And also what it does is hide a bit of detail from the bottom because obviously you want everything to be drawing attention to the face in the portrait. So by bringing the blacks up slightly, you lower the detail in the coat. So it just brings your eye a bit more like higher up and it just causes less distraction elsewhere. Um, I leave the saturation, hue and luminance alone, never really play about with them unless it's more of a creative portrait. There's not much color going on, like well, a variety of different colors. There's only whites and yellows in here. So I'm not really gonna be really playing about with them. I think it looks nice as what it does already. Sharpness, that is something that I always do. I'll bring that up a bit and you can really see a difference between zero and say 119 because it just brings everything more into focus. But the only thing about the sharpness is when you raise that, you lose a little bit of detail. So if I go back to zero, you can see really nice detail in the face. When you raise it, you get a bit more grainy. So to counteract that, I like to go on the noise reduction tool and just bring that up a little bit, keep going. I don't wanna like raise it too much otherwise you lose detail. And then it just looks more like a painting rather than a picture. So I only add about mm, 15. So yeah, that looks nicer. 
And then last and not least, I always do this for every single picture lately just because it really brings the attention to the eyes is by going on the brush tool and just oh, making the eyes a little bit more exposed because it, you want the eyes to stand out in every single picture you do because that's what everyone is drawn to is the eyes. So I know this is set by default to plus 0 0.18. So that basically means that the eyes get a little bit more exposed. But then uh, if you see like the picture further out, the eyes now look a bit too white. If you have a look, you just look, it just feels unnatural now. So you have to keep playing about with it until you get a nice balance. So click on the eyes. Um, I like to go on to the shadows and just decrease them a little bit to counteract the whiteness. So as you can see here, if I went up, you get a really horrible glary effect across the eyes or glaze. So you reduce them a bit by about 30. And then the whites, so obviously by reducing the shadows, you lose a bit of white in the, in the, uh, the white bits of the eyes. I'm not too sure what they're called, but the white bits of the eyes. Um, and so to counteract that, I increase the whites a bit by not much, by about eight. And then clarity set by 25, plus 25, just because it makes the eyes pop. So if I went back down, glazy, back up to 25, boom, really nice, sharp. And obviously the sharpness, I increase that a lot because I want them to stand out and pop as much as possible. So when we go a bit further out, boom, really nice picture. And yeah, I think I'm happy with that. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.